Scanning your face, phishing for passwords, who's listening to you? How easy is it for a stranger to figure out who you are? Yeah, does all that get your attention? Tonight and all this week, the I-Team is protecting your privacy. Here's the I-Team's Paisy Chang with a cautionary tale about internet dating. Is the person you're speaking with really who they say they are? He says, I'm doing good, but better now that you are here. Sandra Eckenreiter thought she had met the perfect guy, a handsome military man who said all the right things. You're beautiful. I really can't wait to put a ring on your finger. The Massachusetts woman met him on Match.com. It was her first try with internet dating. My husband has passed. I have four kids. I work, and I work all the time. He told her his name was Sergeant Hill, a soldier stationed in Kabul, and she believed him. This is the actual picture that was on uh, Match.com that he said, you know, this is who I am. And every so often, he sent a new picture. Him in uniform, on vacation. It was nice. If Sergeant Hill looks familiar, it's because... And in the world of NBA basketball... Tonight, this is actually an image of NBC New York's Harry Chickma, used to create a fake profile to lure women. But Sandra did not realize this until she almost sent Sergeant Hill a sum of money. You, you work in the military, you should be getting paid. Asking myself, what are you doing? While searching Hill's name online, nothing came up. But while surfing the net, an ad popped up for socialcatfish.com, a site to, quote, find people and verify identities. So she uploaded Hill's picture. Here it is, it's coming up. He's a news correspondent. He needed to know because it didn't just affect me, it was affecting him too now. Harry was completely shocked to see the photos. What really creeps me out about the top picture. Sure, that is his face, but the body, the uniform. Yeah. You've never worn a military uniform. Not even for Halloween have I worn a soldier's uniform. And Harry says he's not on any dating site. Someone was using my picture to falsely make her feel better and then they were trying to get money. It made me feel absolutely terrible. This is the original image. Meet Mo Myers, the co-founder of socialcatfish.com, the website where Sandra learned Sergeant Hill was really Harry. We had eight profiles on dating sites. Harry's images with fake names basically. That's eight different profiles that could potentially be used to reel in others. Meyer says 95% of fake profiles they discover are of military men. I think people just love a, a, a man in uniform. In hindsight, Sandra says there were red flags. No phone calls, no FaceTime. Right away, they started texting. He can't physically call me because he's on some secret mission. Match.com says Hill's account was blocked by the Match fraud team one day after the account was created and that they have a dedicated team and sophisticated sophisticated technology that patrols for fraud. Sandra reported this to Match.com as well as to her local police department. But a John Jay College cyber expert says there's one more step. You should report to the Internet Crime and Complaint Center. This is a site that collects information about these types of frauds and other forms of cyber crime. Harry has done this as well. After learning his profile has been used in multiple places, he hopes companies can weed out the fraudsters. We just have to find a way to stop this and clean it up now for everyone. So if you're trying to scam me or any of the innocent women or men out there out of their money, I will do everything in my power to bring you down. Experts say if there is one thing you should absolutely avoid, never send money to anyone you don't know. Because once you do, your profile could be identified by scammers as an easy target and be shared among other catfishing networks, leaving you vulnerable to future scams. Paisy Chang, News 4, New York. And our reports continue all week. Tune in tomorrow night at 11. Are your devices watching or even listening to you? Yeah, we're going to talk to the experts and what you can do to protect yourself. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can stay up to date by hitting the subscribe button below me. Also on the left, you can see some of our latest updates, investigations, and features. We'll see you next time.